You can have very different sensations after you've just done a hyperbaric session. You might feel really energized, clear-headed, or you might feel surprisingly tired and fatigued. So after a decade of working with hyperbaric therapy, I've broken down possible sensations after hyperbaric therapy into what is normal and where you should seek assistance. I feel tired after a hyperbaric session. It's not abnormal to feel tired after a hyperbaric session. In fact, after the first HBOT sessions, people often feel tired. If your tiredness is limited to, I've had a really good night's sleep and then next day I feel much better, there's nothing to worry about, normally it will go away after a few sessions. However, if the tiredness and fatigue start to interfere with you daily, living, then you should pay closer attention. Maybe your mitochondria is not optimized yet to receive that much oxygen, and maybe your hyperbaric protocol needs some adjustment. I couldn't fall asleep after a hyperbaric session. Well, this is also common, especially if the hyperbaric session was done later in the day. Let's say it's 10 p.m., you just left a hyperbaric chamber, you had a great session, and you feel like you're ready to conquer the world. Well, unfortunately, it's time to go to sleep, but you can't fall asleep because you're too energized. There's a simple solution to that. Schedule your hyperbaric sessions earlier in the morning, and that way you'll avoid that situation. I had a headache after a hyperbaric session. This is not as common, but it, it happened to several of my clients, and usually it's due to either dehydration or pressure changes. With most of my clients, making sure that they're really well hydrated and taking binders before a hyperbaric session because HBOT can stimulate detoxification, and that can cause a headache, solved the issue and the headaches eventually went away. If it's a sharp uh, pain, first of all, you should never experience sharp pain in a hyperbaric chamber. But if it's a really bad headache and it goes from one session to another, then you might need to see a specialist to rule out some abnormalities and why this is happening. My ears felt really blocked after I had a hyperbaric session. This is very common and it's always due to improper ear equalization techniques. We should always equalize ear pressure on pressurization and depressurization to avoid ear barotrauma. If this is not done properly, ears can feel congested and blocked for several days after a session and usually it will go away or you might experience sharp pain, or there might even be some blood and liquid coming out of your ear. So if it's just blocked sensation, give it some time, it should go away, massages and warm compresses should help there. However, if it's sharp pain, or there's blood, liquid, pus, anything coming out of your ear, go see an ear specialist. Before we continue, there's something real quick I wanted to tell you. I'm giving a free access to 30 of you to my HBOT Sprint. It's a five-day marathon in which I describe in a lot of detail where you should start with hyperbaric therapy, like how to choose the right hyperbaric equipment, what to look out for, then how to put together an effective and safe hyperbaric protocol to ensure that you get results from hyperbaric therapy. When you sign up for the five-day sprint, you'll receive clear instructions and my personal insights in your email box every day for five days. So by the end of the sprint, you have a very clear understanding where you should start with hyperbaric therapy, what to watch out for, and which direction you should move to. To sign up for the sprint, follow the registration link in the video description. And now let's go back to our video. I feel hungry after a hyperbaric session. Very common, especially when you use higher pressures. There is a reason for it. Inside a hyperbaric chamber, our metabolic rate increases. We burn more calories. We burn more fuel to make more energy. So it makes sense that when we exit the hyperbaric chamber, we feel hungry. Key here is not to eat any junk, please, after a hyperbaric session, only good quality food, because it really matters what you eat, it will translate into your cellular health. I feel pins and needles at the site of an old injury. Also quite a common sensation, and it's absolutely normal. Pins and needles sensation at the site of an old injury 
means that there's blood supply increase to the area, means that oxygen is going there, and means that healing is taking place. Now, at higher pressures, the pins and needles might be a sign of oxygen toxicity. So you need to be able to distinguish between the both. So it's either pins and needles slight at the site of an old injury sensation that will go away that is very similar to when you sit for a long time and you set your leg or your arm goes numb and then the blood supply starts to go back there and you start feeling that pins and needles sensation. This is normal. I feel dizzy after hyperbaric session. This can happen if you were laying down in a hyperbaric chamber, but then when the session was over, you just got up really quickly. This is called orthostatic hypotension, so your blood pressure suddenly dropped, and it's common after a hyperbaric session. So next time you exit a hyperbaric chamber, make sure that you take your time to get up, you exit slowly, your body needs to readjust, it was under pressure, and now it's under normal pressure again, so give it some time. I feel emotional and teary after a hyperbaric session. I start crying for no reason. There are several explanations for that. Normally, this happens in people with past trauma because in past trauma, the areas of the brain that hold to that trauma are being isolated and sort of go to sleep. Once we said oxygen under pressure to these areas of the brain, these parts of the brain start to wake up and we, uh, people might re-experience certain emotions that can make them emotional and teary. If this is the case, by the way, it's quite common in people with fibromyalgia. And if this is the case, I recommend seeing a psychotherapist and working through those traumatic events that happened in the past that now being reactivated through the series of hyperbaric therapy. It's not a bad thing. It just requires a little more attention. I feel cold after a hyperbaric session. Again, this is quite common and it's a very good sign. What it can mean is that your body went into parasympathetic mode, the mode of relaxation and healing. When we're in parasympathetic mode, there are core temperature drops, a couple of points, and we might feel a little cold, like we want to wear a blanket or something warm, and we feel cozy at the same time and maybe a little sleepy. Again, it's a good sign. There's nothing to worry about. I am coughing up phlegm after hyperbaric session. I've had several clients who experienced this situation. In all of them, this was due to past lung infection and the lungs started to clean up and they started to cough up phlegm. This is what you need to watch out for, that the phlegm, the amount and the color is not getting progressively worse. In fact, it should get less and less with every time you use a hyperbaric chamber. There's no sharp pain here in the lung area. There's no difficulty breathing or anything like that. So it could be clearing an old infection or it could be something new that requires attention. Something new usually means that there are other symptoms accompanying that, like pain, a shortness of breath, uh, blood tinged phlegm and things like that. I am peeing more after a hyperbaric session. It feels like I constantly need to rush to the bathroom and I'm really peeing a lot. This is normal because hyperbaric therapy is vasoconstrictive. It means the blood vessels slightly constrict and that leads to relief of edema, of any swelling that usually accompany inflammation in the body. This liquid needs to be removed from the body and the easiest way to remove the liquid is to pee it out. It's also slightly diuretic, means that it will stimulate kidney activity. This is the reason why we uh, always say be hydrated before your hyperbaric session to make sure that you have enough liquid in your body to work through those changes. I felt pregnant after a hyperbaric session. This is common and it might come as a surprise or a much awaited uh, event. And hyperbaric therapy improves fertility, both in men and women. And there are studies that show that hyperbaric therapy, when used for certain 
uh, types of infertility can be quite successful in helping women get pregnant. So it's not an uncommon side effect. If you're not looking to get pregnant and you're doing hyperbaric sessions, make sure that you use contraception and that you avoid this kind of outcome. I did not feel anything after a hyperbaric session. This is also normal. And by the way, that raises a lot of concerns uh, among people who use hyperbaric therapy because we're prepared that something will happen, something needs to happen when I use a hyperbaric chamber. It's absolutely normal do not to feel anything after a hyperbaric session. You will notice with several sessions or with series of sessions that things are changing, but maybe not immediately in the session that you're doing. I hope this helped you and uh, you can now navigate a little better all different effects of hyperbaric therapy, what is normal, what is not. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. If you've experienced something in a hyperbaric chamber that we did not cover in this video and I'll try to answer your comments in the comments section. Don't forget about the 30 free spaces in the HBOT Sprint. So the first 30 people will receive this five day sprint absolutely for free and otherwise I'll see you next week.